Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the AirPods fourth generation and compare them against the AirPods third generations and see which particular AirPods are the better one for you. Now, if you want to pick up either one of these AirPods, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the exact same time. Now, starting off with the outside of both these AirPods, the first thing I'd probably just tell every single average person out there is that if you own the AirPods 3s, I probably would not upgrade to the AirPods 4s. In fact, if you're coming from any previous versions of AirPods, I don't think I would go for the AirPods 4s in general. I think the AirPods Pros 1s or AirPods Pros 2s are probably better deals and better options than the AirPods 4s. But with the AirPods 3rd generation, these basically came out in two different models. So you were able to get the AirPods 3rd generation with the Lightning charging case, the other one with the MagSafe charging case. In these cases, I did have the standard one just with the lightning charging and, you know, I had a pretty good time with that particular charger as well. Now, the side, basically the whole entire outside of both these AirPods, they're fairly similar for the most part. So the layout is pretty much the same. I feel like with the AirPods third generations though, these ones kind of extend out a little bit more, but they're both relatively kind of the same thing. Like the width is the same, the depth is a little bit different on both, but the height, the AirPods third generations are a little bit like more height I guess they're a little bit taller than the AirPods 4s but it's very very slight and basically the other big difference you can tell on the backside is that or on the you know bodies in general is that the AirPods 4s are basically giving you USB type C so this is something that's been a long time coming I'm so glad to have something like USB C inside of our AirPods and we now have that type of capability inside of our AirPods 4s Unfortunately, the AirPods 3s did not have that. Now, another very interesting thing that just changed within these particular AirPods as well is that now we don't actually have a back button on our AirPods, meaning that on our AirPods 4s, we don't actually have a back button that we can hold down to actually go through and like, you know, pair our AirPods up. With the AirPods 4s, we now have to basically double tap that LED sensor on the front, and that is now going to be the way that we can go through and basically connect our particular AirPods with other Bluetooth devices. So that is something else that's actually very intriguing to me here because before it doesn't look like we really had that issue, but now it looks like we're gonna have to kind of get used to it. I know me personally, I'm already kind of used to it to be honest, but if you are not, well then that's gonna be something that some people are gonna be very, very confused out, you know, when they go ahead and pick up their AirPods. So that kind of covers it up on the outside. They both support wireless charging, they both support all that. The AirPods 4s do come, out, come in two different variants though. They come in the Air, standard AirPods 4s, and they also come in the AirPods 4s with active noise cancellation. So it depends on which way you want to go. The active noise cancellation one is a little bit more expensive. That's why if you're thinking about buying that, I'd probably just recommend buying either generation of AirPods Pros, to be honest. But either way, these AirPods are very, very solid when it comes down to it there as well. So at least from the exterior, that kind of covers it up there for the most part. Now, some other things to keep in mind here too, in terms of kind of the features they have inside of them, they both basically, you know, listen to music. You can just put them in your ear and listen to music that way. So they're both very similar in that sense. The only other thing I can think about is that with the AirPods 4s and AirPods 3s, if you're coming from AirPods 2s or AirPods 1s, those headphones fit in my ear perfectly. These ones, these, you know, 3s and 4s, they just don't fit in my ear that well at all. And that is kind of a big disadvantage, I would say, for these types of headphones. Again, not the biggest deal in the world, but that is just one thing that I did notice within these particular headphones. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there a little bit as well. Now, if we're talking about the chipsets inside, the AirPods third generations have the H1 chipset, where the AirPods 4s have the H2 chipset, both very, very good for the most part. They both have the personalized spatial audio with dynamic head tracking, which is a really cool thing. So you have that type of feature set built in automatically, which is really cool. The charging and the battery life is very interesting here because on the AirPods 4s, Apple is telling you you have five hours of battery life on one charge. With the AirPods third generation, they're giving you six hours of charging. So or for six hours of battery life. So that is kind of interesting that on the AirPods third generation, the older one, you're able to basically get six hours, like one more hour of listening capability than the AirPods 4s. So that in and of itself was another very interesting, pretty crazy thing, because like, why would you want to go and up? Like, why are we getting an upgrade and paying more money, but we're getting worse battery life, right? Like, why would we want that? And that's basically what's going on here, which is pretty crazy. So this in and of itself is like another pretty wild thing going on from that particular standpoint as well. But they're both giving you 30 hours of, you know, but they're both giving you up to 30 hours of listening time with the charging case. So at least that is pretty good in and of itself. They're both dust and sweat and water resistance. However, the AirPods 4s are dust, sweat, and water resistant with IP54, you know, rating. The AirPods third generation are only sweat and water resistant, 
They both give you Hey Siri capability, automatic switching, personalized grading, which I probably wouldn't recommend doing. The AirPods 4s do have a few things built inside that the AirPods 3s don't have. So for one, you're getting that voice isolation feature on the AirPods 4s. So if you're in a call or if you're doing anything like that, the AirPods 4s will basically give you that type of capability where you're able to go through and isolate on your voice, which again is a very nice thing to have. So if you're in a call, it's going to isolate your voice even if you're in an area that's like very, very like, if it's a very loud construction, things like that, the voice isolation on the AirPods 4s is definitely going to be better. And you're also getting personalized volume as well. So this is something that's really cool. And as soon as you set up your particular, you know, AirPods, it'll go and tell you and kind of explain that to you how that works. And it really is a really cool thing that you have that type of capability on the AirPods 4s as well. Now, one thing that's very interesting is that the AirPods 4s also have this vent system for pressure equalization. Now, what this basically means is that for your pressure within, I guess, the headphones themselves and everything, it can go ahead and have this little vent system basically on the top of the AirPods, I think, if you see them. You're going to go ahead and see that type of setup there, which is genuinely very cool. So that's another really cool thing going on for these particular AirPods as well. There's one other big feature that I want to hit on too, but I'll hit on that after a few more things. One, you're still getting your four sensors built in as well on both of them. So this in and of itself is another really nice thing. You can just go through, tap into that four sensor and get a little bit more capability that way. The last thing though that I wanted to hit on is the head tracking. So AirPods 4s do allow you to go ahead and have this head tracking feature, which is genuinely very nice. So what this basically does is it will go ahead and if you like, you know, put your head up and down, or if you move it side to side, like yes or no, you're going to go and invoke your AirPods to do certain things. So this could mean that if you go ahead and like, you know, let's say you're getting some sort of a call. Well, if you go and want to answer the call, you instead of speaking out loud or saying, hey, Siri, pick up the call or whatever, you could just shake your head yes, and it will go ahead and basically accept that call for you. Same thing with notifications. If you want to respond to a notification, you know, sometimes Siri will tell you, you know, this person just texted you. Do you want to respond? And sometimes you can just go ahead and, you know, instead of being in an environment where you can't speak that much, you can just raise your head yes or no. And it will go and actually invoke those commands for you, which is something that's actually very, very cool. So you're basically getting that type of capability inside of your AirPods. So overall, what I'll definitely tell you is I will definitely say between the AirPods 4s and the AirPods 3s, both these headphones are very good. They are very, very good options. I'm a big fan of both of them. I will tell you though, if you're going to go through and pick up a pair of AirPods, it might make a little bit more sense for you to go and buy the AirPods 4s. But if you're coming from the AirPods 3s, I wouldn't really necessarily upgrade to the AirPods 4s. And the other thing too, is if you're coming from the AirPods, you know, any other AirPods, I think going to the AirPods Pros 1s or the AirPods Pro 2s are also very good options as well. AirPods Maxes are like my favorite headphones, but if you're looking for these smaller, sleeker ones, probably the AirPods Pros 2s are the ones I'd recommend people to buy. And they are available in the certified refurbished market now too, so you can always pick them up that way if you want. But that's kind of how I see both these AirPods kind of holding up from that particular perspective. So from that side, that kind of covers it up there too. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, so then.